Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and truth to be told, the best is not always what you need. Because, for example, when you're entering the RC hobby, the price of at least good decent radio video transmitter or goggles or anything, it's really like something of the problem. If the money is not the problem, uh, then money apparently is a problem. An investment for something like 200 bucks or slightly less for a really good radio transmitter, like for example the Radio Master TX16 I have over here, can be really like a challenge. This is why, this is why the radios, like for example Flysky i6, which you can buy for how much? 40 bucks right now, are still on the market and people are buying it. Today. Today, however, I have the proposal of the entry-level radio by the Radio Master, which is uh, such a cute little thingy. It's called the Radio Master TX12, and it is located somewhere between the cheapest you can get Flysky i6, which kind of like after six or seven years on the market should really be like forgotten that it existed. And the decent radios like the Radio Master TX16 over here. It's small, it's cheap, it has some really interesting compromises inside. For example, from the aspect of the multi protocol module it has inside. But on the other hand, it's there. It's small, it's light, with the price of 70 bucks. I think it's really like the well-placed entry-level radio, and it has OpenTX. So let's begin with the presentation of how Radio Master TX12 looks like. It's really tiny. It's really tiny, it's smaller than two palms of your hand. You can get it in your backpack or a pocket or not maybe not a pocket you would really have to hit huge pockets to fill it in the pocket but in the backpack without a problem it has something like a castrated multi-protocol module because the multi-protocol module on this thing is equipped only with the cc 2500 chipset and that means that it can be used only with the most popular free sky receivers and some coronas hot and really like esoteric protocols however the main goal of the radio master was to give this thing a compatibility with every free sky compatible receiver and this is kind of like makes sense because let's be honest free sky receivers are the majority on the market right now. It has some switches. Yes, it definitely has some switches because it has three position switch over here. It has three position switch over here and two three position switches over here. You will, however, not find a switch A or switch D because instead of those, you have only a momentary tactile buttons. Yes, with the OpenTX, because this thing is flashed with OpenTX. You don't believe me? Look, it has the OpenTX. You can probably convert the momentary switches into the uh, locking switches, but this is not the point. The point is that with still 16 channels, because this is a 16 channel radio, and uh, four switches and two buttons and two sliders on the side. Probably this is more than really anybody can really requires, and it is a much better alternative than the Flysky i6 with only four switches and that's all. You still get the sliders. On top of that, on top of that, this thing of course accepts the batteries the battery compartment is something of the interesting of the here because the battery compartment is very narrow to be honest i was not in the beginning sure that you can really fit 18650 over there but you can you can just uh, the the basket for the batteries comes with the set however the batteries are not part of the set also what's kind of interesting uh, the tx12 does not require an sd card to run everything is stored in the in the flash memory and the sd card slot is empty and you do not have to put an sd card over there to have the radio running which for the entry level radio is kind of like honestly a good idea we are going back to the times of the 
of the Tyrannis, right? No, but that's Tyrannis needed the SD card? I think so. But if the castrated multi protocol module on the Radio Master TX12 is not enough and you do like the small form factor, by the way, the radio lies in your hand pretty nicely and you can use it both as a both as a tumbler and as a pincher however for me i have a rather big hands and this probably as a pincher it's too small after radio you can update this with whatever you want because it has the full size jr module and if you want to go long range or fast updates or whatever you can install over there Tracer, you can install their Ghost, Crossfire, R9, really everything you want, even the full-blown multi-protocol module, because this is a full-size JR Bay that accepts any module. And of course, after you will turn it on, you have the OpenTX inside. Um, I'm not sure if this is a re reviewer course or this is just the fact that this is the pre-production. Actually, this is the early uh early production uh sample i got the lcd is slightly tilted i bet if i would open this i could just untilt it back and it would be fine you get really all the goodies of the open tx so you can do whatever you want with your radio you will get telemetry you can have logic conditions you can have and all the really the goodies the, the magic that open tx allows you to do with four switches two sliders and uh, two momentary switches bear in mind there are no pots uh, on the uh, on the front and there is no six position six buttons that are characteristical for the bigger radio master so this is gone but on the other hand you kind of have to sacrifice something to make um, a radio that costs only 70 bucks and still kind of feels not flimsy in your hands because it's it's solid, it's nice. Plastic is a decent plastic, which really looks nicely. Uh, the mold is nice quality. There are no strange marks. Although um, the uh, maybe here the ending of the mold uh, when the the clamshell of the mold were this is not maybe perfectly finished, and the sliders definitely are not the best sliders ever. However, overall quality is nice. The, Maybe, maybe with the exception of this flap, which kind of is abs ish, and I kind of personally do not like the pure ABS. However, the overall quality, I do really have to say, that is pretty, pretty nice. Oh, and by the way, you get the folding handle um, as the standard equipment for this thing. How cool, how cool is that? So, what next? This is not the review yet. And this is not the review yet. I would really like to use this radio for at least one or two days of flying to find out, for example, how the uh, gimbals feel in, the, in this thing. Because the gimbals are... The people beginning the hobby will be very, very happy. Also, I'm pretty sure that the majority of the not very advanced users will be happy with those gimbals. Uh, there is actually pretty nice, I have to say, the centering in the, in the middle is pretty nice and the you can feel that when the stick is in the middle, which is nice. This is, for example, something I miss in the TX-16 when the feeling is less, less distinct. Here you can feel that the stick is in the inside. You can also modify the length of the stick, but I think every gimbal really can do it. And uh, overall, for the 70 bucks, definitely better option than those super cheap um, proposals from FreeSky. I forgot the name of that thing. That thing that looks like a Tyrannix, but it's not really like, like a Tyrannix. This is definitely a very interesting option for the people that are beginning with the hobby because yes it's much better value than the entry level flysky i6 much better option than the entry level radios from the free sky and it is much cheaper than anything else the radio master does it if the internal quality is good and everything is fine in this inside this is really like 
super interesting option for a people that are just beginning and really do have relatively small hands. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.